Hello, my name is Matt, and I'm going to give my testimony, my little two cents on this planet of um, what happened to me when, um, before I called upon the name of the Lord, before I um, was born again. I, um, uh, you know, I have a, um, I didn't go into hell, but I believe that I was, I was near, I was going to hell. I was in the portal going into hell. Um, and, uh, I was an atheist. This happened to me as a atheist. Um, I was, uh, I have family members that are atheists, uh, my sister and uh, my brother-in-law, you know, and, um, uh, uh, and I was an atheist with them. I mean, that's, um, no lie. Um, I was, uh. One night I was sitting on my bed and uh, I was by, I was by myself in a little apartment and uh, uh, I um, sometimes I would smoke some weed and I, I did a lot when I was in school high school middle school and um, sometimes you know I'd just bust one out and uh, um, I was sitting on my bed one night, and um, this wasn't, this was a few months before I met my wife, you know, and then after I met my wife, probably about five months, I got saved. <clears throat> um, so I was sitting on my bed, I smoked, um, I rolled up like a little blunt, smoked some of it, uh, put it out, set it down, and... Um, I started, uh, I, I smoke, I, this has happened actually, this is a, this has happened a lot, you know, I've smoked weed a lot, and, um, everybody knows you get paranoid sometimes, um, but this is different, I started thinking about things that I've done. And and I and I started realizing like it it was like it was really confronting me. You know that's what it felt like I was being confronted with the fact that all these things that I've done in my life um, has I'm here alone, away from family. Um, and I'm alone, um, you know, I'm riding a bike to work and back, even walking, I had been walking a long time before I got a bike, um, and doing my laundry and everything, and I was by myself, and I, I was being confronted with the, with the fact that I did this to my own self. All this was done because of me. I chose all this stuff. I chose so many wrong decisions. And um, and I'm here, and it's my fault. You know, and it was like, I don't know why I was thinking like that at that time. You know, it just, it's the first time I've really, like, was just, you know, uh, thinking back on things. And, and um, all of a sudden... I realized it was like a epiphany. I deserved to die. I deserved death. That it was like a revelation that hit me hard. As soon as that happened, I it seemed like I I don't know if I came out of my body, but I was 
I got shot down this long, this, this blackness. And it was really fast. And it seems like, you know, I was like going like down, you know, cause like things going past, but pitch black. Couldn't turn around. I was just going there. And it happened really, it, it, it was a few seconds. And um, it was pitch blackness. Jesus talks about how people will be cast out into outer darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. And I got, I didn't know what was going on. And, but I, all of a sudden, I got reversed back out of it. And I was back in my room. I got up, I started pacing around the room, and I, you know, I was freaked out. And uh, for a while, I thought I might be suicidal or close to it. And um, um, I didn't know what was going on, and I had somebody come up to me like two times and um, say, you know, if you call upon the name of the Lord, he'll save you. And um, that's all they said to me. And um, one night I, uh, um, I was in I was in the shower, and I'm an atheist. Remember, I'm an atheist. There, but we, but we, have, we There's a spiritual side to all of us, you know. Even an atheist has to agree, has to agree with that. That there's a spiritual side. What is that? You know. So I'm in my shower and something in me just, I just, I, I didn't know who I was calling out to. I didn't know it was God. I just said, if there's anybody there, please help me. That's what I said. Now I think within a month or two, I end up meeting my wife. She was a Christian. She was a believer. And, um, you know, things started, you know, looking up big time. And I didn't, I didn't think of it back then as, you know, I prayed and look all this. I was, I was far from, um, you know, knowing anything of God. I couldn't even read the Bible. I didn't even understand any word in the Bible. Um, now I do, praise God. Uh, but, uh, you know, Things started going well again, you know. It seemed like, you know, things were going really well. And then I started going back to watching porn in our relationship. Watching porn, and it that started ruining our relationship. She was pregnant, and um, I was about to start cheating on her. And then during that phase, I got, that's when I cried out to the Lord. Because I was, because during that time, I, I was, you know, sinning and stuff, and, uh, I was thinking about my past again. It was coming back again, and I was freaking out. I would, um, you know, um, looking at children, it, it would just crush me. You know, it was, it was. I had this guilt on me that was unbearable. I couldn't look people in the eyes. You know, it was, um, it was bad. And um, at that, 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 all that guilt and stuff, I just, I, I asked the Lord Jesus Christ to forgive me, change me, and be in my life. So, um, so glory to the Lord, um, uh, save somebody like me, and, um, I pray God bless you, set you free, and, um, the, this black pit that I was in, um, it's real, and, um, I just remembered something, I'm gonna share it. During that phase, I was talking about of you know, you know, thinking about my past again, and I had a dream. The Bible says in Job, and I think it's chapter thirty-three, God gives man, God, uh, man, um, God speaks, man doesn't listen. Then God speaks again, man doesn't listen. So God speaks in a dream to turn man from his uh, ways. To hide him from pride. Um, 
Um, but, uh, so I had this dream of, um, this was, uh, I would say probably about a week before I got saved. Um, I ended up having a dream. I was in my old trailer park that I grew up in and I was in a one of the one of the trailers. Um, the person that was there died from overdose of pills and stuff. We part with we met him, partied with him a little bit and he died. And um, I was in that trailer and uh, I was an atheist. So um, in my dream I was an atheist. Uh, a little boy though comes through the um, the back door. And he was a he looked like a like a Hebrew boy, or black hair, olive skin, a, a beautiful child, uh, and uh, and he just came up to me, sweet, gentle, just peaceful, just came up to me, and I don't know what he told me, but I remember I was um I was like baffled because he he convinced me that God is real and he just left I don't remember any word he ever said but he just walked away and went and went back out and I left I left the trailer kind of in like a daze of like what's going on and I was like surprised like God is real um wow and um I went outside, started walking down the street, and um, for some reason I turned around and looked up into the sky, and I saw a big, uh, I think I'm understanding some of this dream as I'm, as I'm talking about it, this big black portal, I think that was the portal I was going down. Um, I've actually heard another brother somewhere he has a youtube channel he talked about how he saw portals in the sky black portals in the sky and they lead into hell people drop you know um, out of them in the hell and um, i don't know if it's true i'm just saying it's kind of cool you know but i saw this big black swirling portal in the sky and um it turned into a it swirled into a big big black bird huge black bird and it came down flew down and it hit me hit me right in my chest and um, I actually I, I, I stammered back a little bit um, and uh, so I went back down to my where I lived and um, in the last room my um, dad it wasn't really my dad but my dad was back there and, and um, he wouldn't talk to me I was having dreams quite often sometimes not quite often my dad in dreams and he wouldn't talk to me and stuff until one day actually I don't know how I just I walked up to him and I said you were not my dad and he just it looked like um, uh, one of those uh, Matrix movies where um, um, that weird guy that says Mr. Anderson uh, he uh, when they when they go like this and they just that's just how it was when I said you were not my dad and he just just freaked out and um, I woke up that was the last time I've ever had that dream but my dad was back there ignoring me um, my real dad who who passed away in 2007 um, uh, in a car crash uh, but then I went into my one of the, my room, and I started, you know, committing an act of bestiality. It was like with a bear, it was like a 
this bear thing. And, um, yeah, I'm understand. I'm, I think I'm understanding some of this now. Uh, so that was hell coming against me with a, a with a seed from God, because it says that um, some seeds are sown, and the and the devil immediately takes it out of their heart. That was hell. That was a bird. That was a fowl. That was a um, bird from the enemy. Came down and um, took that seed out. And, uh, and, uh, but, um, but a week later, around a week later, I got saved. So, um, yeah, that's that. And, uh, God bless you. See you next time.